father. My daddy was fighting alongside him. Your dad saved my father's life. Jamatha! Come here! Stay away from my daughter! <laughs> Dinner's getting cold! Don't play with that girl. You get me and your father into trouble with her mum. That boy and his family are in trouble. Stay away from him. But mum, but nothing. Yes, mum. I don't feel so well. I need to lie down. I better go check on your father. I don't feel well either. So, great the doctor. Your father isn't well. I think he has an answer. Well, can you please come with me? My mom said it could be influenza. Of course, I'll get my things. Nurse, <coughs> can I have some more, please? Of course. Let me sit up. Mom, I feel really cold. The doctor should be here soon. He's on his way. What seems to be the problem? He was playing out all last night in the cold. He'll be fine. Just keep him hydrated and stay out of the cold. My daughter is ill, she's hearing fast. Please help. There are a lot of sick children at the moment. I'm sure it's nothing serious. But she's not well! I have too many patients with them. I'm sure she'll be fine. I really have to go. Please help. My daughter is sick. Do you have any medicine that you could share? Of course, of course. Come in and I'll get you something. Here you go. Hopefully this will help. Anything we can do at all. Thank you so much. You're looking much better, Mr. Sofa. Thank you. Are my wife and son allowed to visit me? Maybe tomorrow, Mr. Sofa. Thank you, nurse. Nurse! Supplies are running low. The pharmacy's nearly out. The farmers have practically drawn to a halt, so ration your foods and medicine. Yes, doctor. Matthew, come on, it's time to wake up. Matthew, you need to drink some water. Matthew? Matthew? Someone help us! I served with your dad, and he was an honourable man. 
He put his personal and religious beliefs to the side while we stood together on the front line. We spent many nights speaking of how we wished to be back home. And he missed you and your mother very, very much. He saved my life and I will always be grateful for that. He will always have a place in our hearts and we should cherish all his memories that we have of him.